In this video, we'll be discussing something obvious that has to take place in order for your film to get made, as well as other advantages that could come with it you may not have even considered. We will get right back to the main video in just one second, but before we do, another thing I want to help you with is this. So, like most ambitious filmmakers, I had all the same, all, all the same worries before starting my first feature-length film in 2015. One of those was a concern that I couldn't make a film without a professional grade cinema camera and lots of other expensive filmmaking equipment. Now, it took some time to let go of those concerns and allow myself to start the project. And ultimately, by using the equipment I had available to me at the time, which certainly did not include a high-end cinema camera, I managed to produce a feature film that made its way to UK television screens, various online streaming platforms, and also had a large cinema screening. Now, I mention this not to try and boast, but to ease any fears you might have about not having the most advanced or ideal filmmaking equipment to your disposal. In the link below this video, you can download the short, bite-sized, four-page free PDF I provided that dives deeper into equipment considerations. My goal is to share my thought process and decision-making around this area and give you more confidence and control over completing your own film project. So make sure you don't leave without getting it. Now let's get back to the main video. I don't want to state the obvious too much here, but making a film, any film, requires a lot of hard work and sacrifices. You also have to be willing to put yourself in uncomfortable situations for, for prolonged periods, be able to motivate yourself along the way, and accept that there is a lot of uncertainty involved as well. So it really isn't enough to just like the idea of making a film. While investing time in watching videos like this one or other avenues of knowledge, advice, instruction, and study obviously play crucial roles in learning about a topic, it's by actually engaging in this skill itself and by doing that truly deepens understanding and ultimately what gets films made. You have to force yourself into action. Otherwise, watching videos like this is like watching home workout videos without doing the exercises and then wondering why you're not getting into better shape. Of course, there has to be a period of planning and getting things down on paper, no question about it, but eventually you have to jump in and make it happen. If you are going down the road of making a no budget film, then you have to sharpen many skills required to see you through it. While getting the film made is the obvious end goal, and of course, throughout that period of production, you will no doubt also improve as a filmmaker, what I would say is that by going down this road and forcing yourself into action and seeing it all through, you should also view it as an opportunity to push yourself outside of your comfort zone, which can also lead to significant personal growth in many areas beyond the filmmaking you'll refine a whole, a whole host of useful tools and attributes that you can carry forward in other pursuits and ventures. But this only happens if you get started and take action with making your film.